Hello. So I'm about to do a quick demo of trying to do a soft IK setup in the dependency refactor branch of Blender. Um, the setup is not possible in uh, current master because um, it uses an illegal um, driver that wouldn't actually update uh, properly in re real time. So I'll show that too. So let's have a look at this. So I've made um, I've made a very simple um, character here that um, has no torso, but it's just a bunch of legs, and I've done a really crappy walk cycle on it, uh, just so we have something to look at um, as a result. And um, you'll notice that there's a slight pop of the knee. Um, ignore the little weird glitch. I think that's just a small bug in the dependency graph. Um, there's a slight pop of the knee as the character straightens out, and we can actually exaggerate that pop by moving um, the torso up and really straightening out that leg. And now you'll see it in the back leg mostly, like it really looks a little wonky and poppy. Um, and I've obviously like pulled the torso way up to make it more uh, visible. And you can actually see this even outside of the walk cycle. If you grab a foot and start moving it, you'll notice that the knee speeds up. Um, if I try to move li linearly, the knee kind of speeds up as the leg is getting straighter and straighter. And actually at the moment it reaches full extension the and the knee locks, it's at about infinity like if you were to like measure it at that moment. It, uh, really blows up. And that's why if the knee is kind of straightening out and shortening up, you see a very uh, fast pop happen. And um, the way to get rid of that is to um, have a sort of a fake IK, uh, con I IK target buried inside the rig that doesn't move quite as fast as the original one. And we actually have such a setup here. So let's have a look at it. And um, let's have a look at the setup. Uh, so basically, um, it's identical in every way. And it actually has the same walk cycle on it. But you notice that you don't get that popping in the knee as the leg, as the body is moving forward. And um, we can actually have a look at this in action on one, oops, on one control. Um, so you can see that there's a certain smoothness to that knee motion as we straighten out. And notice as I'm pulling the knee further out, there's more straightening happening, really delayed. And that's because in this rig, there's the sort of real original IK target, and then there's a, a fake one. Um, and if we go in really close, the real target is this crosshair, and the fake and the fake one that actually gets used is um, the soft IK target. And as I pull the leg to full extension, you notice that they're lined up together. But as I reach that full extension, you notice that the soft one starts to lag behind the real one. And that's what slows down the motion of the knee, and it lags down by uh, sort of an exponential function. Um, so if you were to draw this as a graph um, where uh, this axis is the distance of the real target from the root of the chain, they would kind of line up together in a straight line. And then um, once you reach sort of a, let's do a little line, this kind of soft limit here, um, this real target would continue on that dotted line, whereas the soft target kind of does this and kind of levels off. Um, and they sort of get further and further apart after that, but the rig, of course, is not stretchy in this case. Um, so basically, that function um, is uh, set up in a driver. Uh, so if you click on this little control here and go to drivers down here, um, you can see that that distance is this variable x between the root and the tip of the chain. 
and it has a scripted expression in it. And um, the scripted expression is de using functions that I've defined in a separate file. Um, so active says whether we're before or after this limit. And if it's before, well, then the result is just x, and they line up with each other. And if it's after, it's soft of x, which is using the function here that um, is linked in the, um, in the article. And so that's basically how it's working. Now, it's not terribly complicated to set up, but the big thing here is that driving uh, this position based on other bones in the same rig would not have updated in uh, the older version of Blender. And I've also set it up on a stretchy rig just to show that you can set up the same thing with a stretchy rig. So here's our poppy stretchy rig here. Um, it's another kind of cartoonier character. And um, the rig stretching is actually done via um, a slight hack. I actually, if you look at the um, if you look at the IK, it doesn't actually have stretch turned on. But basically, the um, root bone in the chain um, has a transformation constraint, and um, basically, it looks at this stretcher here. And so, when it, um, which does not stretch, based when it's bent, but when it's straight, it does stretch, and so it just stretches the chain rather than using the uh, stretchy IK. Um, and it's just the way I like to do IK because it's a bit more dependable than the default um, stretchy IK in Blender. And that same setup can get the soft IK feature added to it as well, um, with the difference that the chain is scaling and continuing to scale as you pull the leg away and stretchy. And you can see that it's a lot smoother than it was with the old setup. Now let's open a older version of Blender and load the same thing out in and demonstrate that this doesn't really work. So basically um, basically if I start doing it here it seems like it's working but there's you can see there's a weird lag between the foot and the target and if I cancel this you notice that this doesn't pop back. Now that's the sign that there's a circular dependency and Blender is getting uh, confused with the updating um, and so if you try to render this there might be some judder or stutter or lag um, as you try to render those frames especially if you were to do it on a render farm. So this setup does not work in the old version of Blender but it works fine in the dependency graph version. Um, there is no lag. And um, if I cancel it, let's go to a more fortuitous frame. Let's see here. So if I grab this and cancel it, you notice that it goes back to the default position. It doesn't leave the um, leg hanging out in the wrong place. So that's basically it. It's a pretty cool setup. Um, you can drop it into existing rigs and walk cycles and basically smooth out their popping knees without having to do any extra animation work. So very practical, um, very simple, and now possible thanks to the Dependency Graph.